In Flinto for Mac 2.2, there's a vector tool. So you can go to the insert menu, choose vector, and then start clicking to add points. If you click back on the original point, you'll close the shape. You can also use the V shortcut to quickly activate the vector tool. If you click and drag while inserting a point, you'll create a curved point. And you can change the point type up here in the inspector. And you can adjust the handles as you go. You have all the usual properties here on the right for changing the fill color, the border, the border position, border width, dashed line style, line cap, join, and this is really fun. You have a start and end percentage here, which will let you adjust the stroke, start, and end percent. And most of these properties are animatable, so you can do really cool animations with this. Let's give it a try. I'll go into the behavior designer here and I'll make a new state. And in this new state, I'm going to animate the background color to blue, the border width to four, and the end percentage to zero. Let's see that in slow motion. To edit a vector shape, you can double click on it to get into vector edit mode, and then you can start adjusting the points. Press escape when you're done. Let's say you have a vector shape like this that's not closed, and you go to edit it. If you select one of the endpoints, you see that gray line there shows that you're ready to insert a new point. I'm going to try making something here that's like a play button that turns into a stop button. So I'll start by making a red square to represent my stop button. And I want to insert a new point here on the right edge. So if you go into vector edit mode then click on the right edge, you can insert a point. I'm going to leave it right there where it is. I'll go into the behavior designer, make a new state. And in this state, I'm going to drag that point out to start to form a triangle. And I'll drag these points over here so that it looks like a triangle and pull that back to the center. And let's make this green. Cool. You can also adjust things like the radius if you wanna have a rounded corner. And you can even animate between different point types. All right, so let's set up some links so that I can go between these states in the preview. And that's how you can create a nice little interaction using vector shapes inside of Flinto for Mac. Now I just wanted to jump into Sketch real quick and show you something about importing. So you can import vector shapes from Sketch into Flinto and they'll come through as editable vector shapes unless they contain properties that are unsupported by Flinto. For example, gradient fills, multiple borders, or any kind of multiple fills, multiple shadows. Those are all not supported by Flinto, so those get flattened into bitmaps when you import them. So if you want to maintain editable vector shapes, they'll need to be a single fill, single border, and single shadow.